Hi Pisces. How's it going? Hope all is well. Let's go ahead and hop into this. Okay. So, um, and thank you for clicking on your reading Pisces. Your phase that you're in, what I'm picking up with you and this person is full moon in Taurus. Your dreams need a practical plan. Okay. So, um, just to mention signs, you could be involved with a Taurus, someone who has a Taurus placement. You yourself could have Taurus in your chart, Pisces. <clears throat> I feel like, okay, yeah, hold on. I'm getting like your side of this energy and your person's side of this energy, okay? Both of you, I think, feel this way right now your dreams need a practical plan whatever you both want in this connection there needs to be a practical plan about it okay um but yes this could be a taurus i'm also getting aquarius you have the seven of swords lots of fire with the dragon and the panther so aries leo or sag okay this could also be a gemini or a libra so, um, hmm, <laughs> where do I want to start? Cause like I'm sitting, I was just sitting here going over the storyline as I was pulling the cards, but, um, right now, Pisces, this person seems to be having a lot of awareness. Um, they're, they're waking up. Okay. So interestingly enough, too, I think we're in the year of the dragon. This person could be a dragon in the Chinese zodiac. Um, but how they're showing up, you know, how they see themselves in the connection with you is inseparable. Our love is always there despite the distance. So there can be literal distance between you two at right now, Pisces. Okay. But this person with the dragon energy, they could be coming into like, they're waking up to this now. Okay. <clears throat> dragon is a higher level of awareness. Okay. And <clears throat> excuse me, even if it's just for a brief moment right now, there's, this may be triggered. Okay. Cause I, I feel definitely like you have, you've withdrawn a lot from who this is. Okay. I don't know that you wanted to, because I see what you want here is the 10 of swords. Um, a lot of you have just accepted that it's over with this person for right now. Um, or you're just not really interested because how you show up is I don't want to chase anymore. You're not interested in chasing this. Okay. You feel, cause this is how you're showing up, um, with how you feel about yourself in the connection, the chaser, a number of you may feel like you have chased this person and a lot of you, do, what I'm getting Pisces is you just really don't have time. Cause this person sees you with responsibilities. I have to take care of my financial and emotional, um, needs and they see you as the B. So a lot of you are very hardworking. Okay. B is very hardworking. B is also very democratic and can tend to show up when, um, you're tired and that makes sense with how you see yourself. Okay. Um, a lot of you have, I'm getting traveling. I don't know if you travel for work Pisces or I'm, cause I'm getting air with you with this dragonfly, the bee and beaver is my three of pentacles card. So I'm seeing you all like working or you're, you know, with a group right now, currently either that you work with, or maybe you're, you're with your family. Okay. Handling some things with your family. Um, 
And that makes sense, right? With how they see you, I have to take care of my financial and emotional needs. You see, you know, a child there. <clears throat> Some of you are focused on maybe a co-parenting relationship right now, and that's taking precedence. I see you're more focused on cooperating and working with like-minded individuals or people that are on or have the same plan, okay? If that makes sense, like you, you know that the people that you're involved with, you all are working towards the same goal. Okay. You're, you're, you're ready to build. That's, that's what the beaver is. I'm ready to build a strong foundation. I don't, you know, yeah, it's a very, it's almost like this very tired feeling. You don't have the energy to um, go after anyone here. So it's, it's kind of like I'm hearing with you, Pisces, like the, the grass is greener where I water it. And you could be setting aside whatever dreams you have had with who this is for right now. Remember, energy is always shifting. This could be a very temporary type of energy because you do show up with the Ten of Swords, which is Gemini energy, it's mutable. So this is how you feel now. This may not be how you feel tomorrow. Okay. And, um, Pisces is a mutable sign. So, but for right now, I think you're just wanting to kind of sit with, you know, whatever pain you're feeling about this connection or maybe something to do with your family, Pisces. I'm not sure. But that is what you're wanting to deal with right now, okay? Um, I don't know if you have felt betrayed by who this is. I'm, I'm sensing that you might. Because um, you do have the Ten of Swords. Okay, give me a second. Hold on. Because this is what you want out of the connection. I feel like at the very least... If this person has caused you any pain, you want that pain um, acknowledged, but you're not going to go out of your way to like express that to who this is. It's like you're wanting to sit with this, okay? Um... Yeah. Yep, not really interested in fixing it. I don't get that. Now, because I think you're more focused on the future. Even in this card, when I look at this Ten of Swords, she just looks like, you know, yesterday is gone and... I, you know, what I have to focus on what lies ahead. And she's still standing, you know, then that could be your energy. Like I'm still standing, but I've got to focus on the road ahead. So A number of you Pisces, you know, you could be business owners. Um, I'm seeing a number of you like living, I don't know, uh, like you're wherever you live, it's very natural, like very much in nature. A number of you are like building, you're building something, building a, a home maybe like your dream home. Okay. And whatever you're doing here, because again, this person looks at you with very practical energy and you're even looking at yourself with really focusing on being more practical. Okay. Focusing on what you have. Taurus is I have. Okay. So it's also, I feel doing like something I'm seeing with you Pisces right now. It's like, you're doing what's best for 
maybe everyone and not just you. Okay. Cause like the shadow side of Taurus can be selfish. Okay. And I don't, I see you in a very selfless energy and so does your person. So I feel, so just to circle back, that's what I get with you, with your dreams need a practical plan. There's something here that you want and that you're, you're wanting to make this a reality. Something about this person right now, I want to emphasize right now, <clears throat> it's not, um, It's not in flow with what it is you're creating. Okay. Now to go back, I know I kind of went off on a tangent, but I'm just speaking of flow. I'm just going with the flow of the reading, but yes, this person say that all being said, I feel like that energy, even of you just being done is triggering this person's awareness with the dragon that, you know, it it's something that they have not maybe felt before in this connection. So when I say dragon is a higher level, a higher uh, level of awareness, it is basically what I correlated to being the higher self. Okay. It's spirit. It's what we're all connected to, at least I think, right? The creator of all of this, whatever, whoever that is. And it's the realization that you are having an experience. That's that it, that's the awareness. It's, you know, I just got chills even saying it, you know, it's the awareness that you're just having an experience. It's here one day and it'll be gone and forgotten. And so, um, someone here may feel like you're their twin flame. I just heard that someone, this person may feel like you're their twin flame. Mm -hmm. Our love is always there. Like you all have, maybe they are in some sort of awareness. Like I've spent lifetimes with Pisces, I, you know, if they believe in all that. All right. And they may feel like even if you two separate in this lifetime, you'll come back together next lifetime. But, and again, that's a higher, like, that's a higher level of consciousness. That's a, that's a different way of looking at the connection with you. Um, I think that a, it, part of this awareness of, you know, um, okay, I'm having an experience. So just to relate it to the connection with you, it's kind of giving like life is short, you know, life is short, <sighs> too short to be in this place with Pisces. If I love Pisces, um, then, you know, I need to figure out maybe how to resolve things. Okay. Because there's something else I wanted to say before I segue into the seven of swords. Damn. That's funny how I switched it. It's all good though. That looks kind of cool. Cause with the seven of swords, it's like this person is so crazy too. look at you and look at them. It's like, he's like running up behind her. Now, I don't really like that image, but I don't feel like this person wants to come back in and hurt you, but I feel like they're wanting to kind of like sneak up on you, Pisces. Okay. Kind of like a sneak attack. Now, some of you may, <sighs> hmm. hold 
hold on. Yeah, I don't really, I don't really like that. I don't really like the way it looks, but I mean, unless you know that this person is like erratic or something because, well, I don't know for right now, I just get you kind of being done with this person. And yes, I do get that. That's very triggering. It's not triggering in the way that I think you're looking at them because you're looking at them like they like broken and I feel shattered about this with the Panther. All right. So a number of you can sense that this person's really pissed off about, you know, disconnecting from you right now. All right. Because a number of you with the B energy, you told this person, like, I've got too much going on. Okay. And I've got to shift my focus. I've got too much going on. I've got to shift my focus. Um, this, I don't know. This looks a little wild. Like this looks a little crazy. A number of you like look at this person like they're kind of crazy. I'm just going to, I'm just going to be straight up. Um, jealous. <sighs> yeah. Jealous, envious. You do know that this person's triggered. I don't know that they're triggered necessarily in this way. They may have shown you this side of them and that's why you're looking at them right now with this energy Pisces. And if they showed you like this very angry and triggered side of them, um, I can see why <laughs> you're just like, I can't deal right now. I cannot deal with that. I've got uh, other things going on and, um, yeah, that it's just too much. Okay. I am getting like this kind of green, like green with envy over here with who this is. They do have trust issues because in their thoughts and feelings about you, it says, I don't trust easily, but with you, I feel so safe and accepted. And I'm getting like, that could be why this person is, I don't, I feel like I get a, a little bit of possessiveness with that. I'm not going to lie for some of you, some of you, not all of you. I could see why like this. I don't know. This person's energy makes me a little uncomfortable. Okay. <laughs> um, they're not all, I, I don't know. They just, maybe they're just a very, they do come across very passionate. Look at the cards. Okay. And you know, they're very passionate, but you come up definitely like more grounded here, Pisces. Like, you know, you know what you need to focus on. Um, things like that. Hold on one second. Okay. Sorry. <sighs> Speaking of focus, right? <laughs> no, my oldest just woke up going to the one of the bathroom. I'm like, what the hell is he doing in there? Okay, he's he's coming out now. Um <laughs> all right, TMI. Anyway, so you got I know I just threw y'all off with that. <laughs> um no, because it was just, he, he went in there really quickly. I'm hearing like some, <laughs> so he might, oh, he may have been grabbed. Okay, I know what it is. I know what it is. He may have, may have ran out of some TP and had to go in the cabinet. So I'm like, what is that slamming around? Okay. <laughs> Whatever, Pisces. Anyway, this is real life. Look, you know what it is. Responsibilities. Okay. So I don't know. I think that your energy seems much more grounded and this person seems a bit erratic Again, they may have, I don't, I think that for a number of you, this person really does feel like, you know, me and Pisces forever, you know, Cardi B voice. Okay. Like me and Pisces are it. They do. They feel like that. Um, 
I don't know if this person went off on you and said the wrong things. I think that they did do something here because you would not be standing here with the 10 of swords where you're just like, I'm good. You know, and Pisces will shut down. They will shut down on you. Okay. So I can see that. Um, you know, in your thoughts and feelings you have, I thought this was just lust, but I was not used to love flowing through me like this. Listen, the Ten of Swords wouldn't be here if you didn't care about who this is, okay? Just like the Three of Swords wouldn't be in a reading if the person didn't care. You obviously, you know, this is obviously hurting you, okay? Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is definitely, you know, hurting you, but I think that for you, um... You're just dealing. You're dealing with it. You're not interested in asking this person to help you cope with it or deal with it, okay? But yeah, I mean, I think that you have, there are feelings of love and those feelings could be causing a lot of pain right now. All right? Because it hurts. It hurts thinking that, you know, hey, someone I love, someone I really care about, especially when you didn't expect it, okay? Like, <laughs> if that's where you're at, I get it. Like, especially when you don't expect to love someone like that or care about this person, and then you do, and then some bullshit happens. That's, when, that's I think, really when it's like, oh, okay. So now I got to deal with this and I didn't even want to deal with it. I didn't even think I loved him. Okay. But yeah, usually the 10 of swords is like the nail in the coffin. Okay. Like mm, that's, that's, I, I, that's a done deal. I got to kind of, you know, accept this and move forward. So, and that may be where you're at. And I think that a number of you may have told this person that like, Hey, I've got to do X, Y, Z. Um, and I don't know, it, it, it could have been that you just told them you need to handle some business and they just took it really personally. And you're like, okay, <laughs> you know, and hmm, they kind of like maybe sabotaged it in some way. Like, I don't know. I just, I get a little bit of a weird vibe with that. I would just be careful because, you know, if what they want is the seven of swords here for a number of you, it's like, they're wanting to kind of like spy on you. I hate to say that. Keep an eye on you with the dragon. Right. Um, <laughs> that's like the, the weird fucked up version of your dreams need a practical plan. It's like, well, Pisces is my dream, but you know, since I don't trust easily, I'm going to go ahead and watch and keep an eye on Pisces because, you know, I, I need to make sure, right. I need to know for real, for real, <laughs> my dreams need a practical plan. Like I need to know that Pisces is doing what they say. They, they could be stalking you like, or they, like, I feel like they're, they could be have, keeping an eye on you here, Pisces with the seven of swords to make sure that, you know, you're on the up and up or what you told them really is what's going on. Okay. Yeah. Cause they may feel like they may, I don't know. They Remember I said you could be trying to focus on some sort of co-parenting situation. And, um, if you told them that, like they're, that pisses them off. All right. So look, okay. I'm going to leave that there. Cause you know, your own situation. And if that resonates, then you can fill in all the blanks. Right. Um, so feel free Pisces to hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. Okay. Let me hit a little stretch. Ooh, hit them with the stretch, hit them with the stretch. All right. <laughs> I hope there's no cross watchers pissed. Like I am not crazy. Okay. Like <laughs> I didn't say you were, but I'm saying whoever this is for sure, for sure for Pisces. Cause it's Pisces reading. Um, I don't know. Listen, love will make you crazy though. Okay. <laughs> love, love will make you do all look. That's your person. 
Love will make you do all types of things, okay? <laughs> Have you in the bushes. <laughs> nah, for real, for real, that's not love. I'm sorry. I, I, I can't. That's toxic. It is. Sorry. Not sorry. It is. It's toxic. Been there. Not, not me, you know, but I've been there. Just saying, I'm sure a number of us had. I just got quiet because I'm like, all right, don't say too much. Look, <laughs> listen, we've all had stalkers, okay? Like, <laughs> at one point or another. And if you haven't, that's a blessing. That is a blessing. All right, I'm making light of it, obviously. Look. Protect your energy. Be smart. Okay. All right, guys, here we go. So we are going to hop into part two. Now you're going to see a preview. I'm going to pull the cards. Over on part two, which is on Vimeo. Link is in the description, top of the comments. First, I'm going to start off with advice. Why? Because the reading just flows better like that. I've been wanting to do that. I don't know why I just <laughs> did it. But yes, the reading just seems to flow better like that, Pisces. Okay, so we're going to start off with your advice. How should you be showing up in this connection? Then I'm going to clarify and dive deeper into the cards you see now in terms of what happens next with you two. We're going to talk about what this person wants to happen with you, what they think is going to happen overall in this lifetime, what outcome do I get at this point, um, with you two. And then we're going to pull from the time Oracle deck, give you a timeline of forward movement and what that looks like. Okay. So let's get it. Pisces, what phase are these two going into next? Okay. Ooh, luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. Is it a Sag? Because it was fire sign. If it's a stalking Sag, then you know what you know what it's a Sagittarius. <laughs> oh, some of the Sages are gonna get me if they cross watching like, oh hell no. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, unfinished business just wanted to come out. All right. <laughs> Yeah, what if I titled y'all's reading like that? Like, <laughs> it's a Sagittarius. <laughs> oh, it's all jokes, y'all. It's all love, okay? It's all good. Here we go. All right. Oh, my God. I'm crying. I'm literally crying tears right now. <laughs> all right. So, you got, you got New Moon. Sabotage just wanted to come out. Okay. Luck is on your side. So this is good. This is a new beginning. Um, and this could be a new beginning in love period for you, Pisces. All right. Show me um, how does this person see themselves next in the connection with Pisces. New chapter. That oh, There you go. New chapter. I'm trying to move on. Let's see. Oh, you see them with chemistry, Pisces. Okay, I've never felt a passion this intense. <sighs> I'm going to shut the fuck up, y'all. Okay, sorry. <laughs> All right. Oh, how you see yourself next? Reminiscing. I miss our inside jokes. Okay, well, Sagittarius's are funny as hell, right? Um, interesting. They see you as the runner, 
but it says I don't want to run anymore. All right. Remember, you came up as seeing yourself with Chaser. I don't want to chase anymore. Okay, so there's something with that. Okay, let's see. Okay, what do they want next? Nine of Pentacles. What do you want? Page of Pentacles. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they see they they see themselves as the zebra next with you. So absolutely, zebra is someone who, yeah, some of you may legit be at a distance from who this is for I don't know currently because zebra it says it's a hint to pack your bags um and zebra is a is a visionary like this person definitely sees themselves still like um spending you know they they see them they see you in their future okay look at that third eye all lit up um and again we have fire so definitely could be Sagittarius okay Yeah, you see them as the eagle. So I definitely feel like for a lot of you, this person is going to be communicating. They're, they're, they could be very direct about their communication. All right. They could even be telling you like exactly what it says. I've never felt like this before, Pisces. I've never felt this passionate before. Okay. I feel like for a lot of you, especially with new chapter, I'm trying to move on with what they want. This person, I feel, wants to um, feel, it's got Virgo energy here. They want to show up in a way that I feel complements whatever is going on here with you because Virgo is Pisces partner sign especially if you're a Pisces rising so that's why I'm reading it like that it's like they and they want to show up in a way I keep getting confident like but normally what I'm hearing is like they view themselves actually to be a very confident individual okay Hold on. Let me see. I'll, I'll talk more about that in the extended. So can you show me how Pisces seeing themselves next in this connection? The crow. Mm. You may be looking at somebody new. Somebody from your past, but. You're, you're, you're interested in newness. I get that. Hold on. But maybe, yeah, reminisce, reminiscing, I miss our old jokes. This could be you saying like, okay, I, I miss you. Yes, but I'm still focusing on, you know, my future. Okay. Let's see. Runner. Oh, that's way too much. They still see you as the bee. Look at that. Bustling bee. A mover shaker. Yeah, you're definitely just moving, moving, moving. Okay. Um, let's see. And next. So we'll talk about in the extended what this new beginning looks like, also, right? I'm just letting you know. I'm gonna clarify all of it. And then um, what's in this person's thoughts and feelings next about Pisces? Here we go. Your beauty is so captivating. I forget to blink. So that again goes in, 
that goes with the like confidence. It's like this person feels like they need to match your energy. Okay. I don't know, Pisces. It's kind of giving like you're over here like mm, kind of done. Hmm. Because you may be sensing, a number of you may sense Pisces, and Saturn is retrograde in your sign, but a number of you may be sensing with the crow that there is like something new or someone new coming in. That's what the crow talks about. It's, it's, it is the third eye. It, much like your person, how they see themselves, it's also like with, you know, um, their third eye being open and then being able to kind of like uh, teleport themselves to the future, see the future with you. It's almost like you're seeing that there is potential outside of this connection. That's what I'm getting here. And even with the Page of Pentacles, this is about newness, something new. I don't think you have a lot of expectations out of this coming up next, okay? Um, clarify. I see thoughts and feelings next about who this is. I love that I can beat myself around you. Yeah. Because again, look, you do have reminiscing, right? I miss our inside jokes. I love that I can beat myself around you. But I still get this vibe where you're like, you're open to something new. All right? So I'm going to go ahead and, excuse me, continue this on Vimeo. Ooh, I'm going to get myself together. I'm going to get myself another little um, espresso shot and go ahead and bang that out. Bang your extended out. For those of you joining me, if you dealt with all the silliness, <laughs> my bad. It's all jokes. It's all love. Okay. Let's just lighten up a little bit. All right, but yeah, I'll see some of you over on Vimeo if this is where we part ways, Pisces. Love you guys. Be safe. Take it easy. I'll see you soon. Peace.